Hello everyone. In this session we are going to continue basic HTML tags. In the last session we have seen headings, paragraph, color, font and list. And in this particular session we are going to cover anchor, image, table and forms. So let's start with anchor tag. A is assigned to an anchor tag which we are also saying as a hyperlinks. The A tag defines a hyperlink which is used to link from one page to another. If we want to navigate from one page to another, we need a hyperlinks and for creating a hyperlinks, we can use a anchor tag which is A. There can be three types of links. One is absolute URL, next is a relative URL and the last is a within a section URL. A absolute URL is some uh, something which we are specifying an absolute path to that. For example, we want to go to a Microsoft.com. Then we have to specify HTTP colon slash slash then the absolute URL of that particular page. If we want to have a relative URL, for example, dot slash index dot PHP. For example, I am currently in a contact dot PHP page. And I want to navigate to index.php which is in the same folder then we can specify a relative path and if we want to specify within the page for example in a one page website I want to navigate from top to bottom I can use a section within URL type of a link which is a, we, we can use using a has has and the name of the section let's see an example of anchors for example, in the last session, we have created first.html page. We are creating a new page, new file, and we are going to name it name it as a second.html. And we are creating one file. Inside, we are simply writing click click here to go to first page right? we want to specify a hyperlink in this particular uh, text to go to the first page let's see how it will display on the browser we are opening a file second.html so this is the normal text but I want to have a hyperlink in click here text so what I need, I need to write this particular text inside a A tag, which is an anchor tag. So what I am writing, starting A and a closing A. But here I need to specify one attribute, which specify where to go when the click, uh, when user clicks on that particular hyperlink. So for that we have attribute named href, A, href. And then we can specify any of three kind of URL, absolute, relative and within section. For example, here we need a absolute path. For example, we need to specify absolute path. So this is the absolute URL of that particular file, which I need to paste here. A, href and then the absolute URL of that particular file. Let's see, when I am refreshing the page, Instead of simple text, it is now become a hyperlink. If I click on that particular uh, link, I will be navigated to the first file. See, here is second.html. When I click here, I will navigate it to the first.html. This is the this is called the absolute URL. When we are specifying everything from the uh, main directory, folder, subfolder, and then file name. But for example, uh, uh, when we upload this file to the server, it may be possible that the uh, the destination uh, di uh, directories will be changed. Or it may happen that uh, we are uploading to the Linux server where there is no D drive at all. So this is not the uh, ideal way to navigate from one page to another page. Absolute URL should not be used if uh, we want to, uh, if we are working on the same directory. Instead of that, I can simply write first.html. This is called a relative URL. Because first and second, 
both are in the same folder so we need not to write a fully specified path instead we can simply write first.html let's see whether it is working or not ready still it is working so when i upload this file to the server still they both will be in the same folder and the link will work we are going to see the section with url in the later sessions next is the images we need to put images in our web pages for that we need some tag and img is a tag to put an image on your web page this is the syntax for that we need to specify a tag img and one attribute of image which is src so we are specifying a path to the image using src for the image and this particular tag is like we need not to close it separately it we can close the image tag in line here only we need not to write a new tag slash img we can simply uh, specify slash at the end of the opening tag so uh, uh, this is how we can put an image in our page src is compulsory because obviously we which image we want to put we have to specify and same uh, like we have seen absolute and relative same way uh, we can specify absolute url to the image or absolute path to the image as well as relative path to the image one more uh, attribute is there which is called alt alter for example we have specified one path to the image and a server cannot find or access that particular image from that path so what you want to display instead you can write in the alt which is alternative we can also specify width and height uh, for example the image is very large but we want to display it just inside 100 cross 100 uh, pixel matrix then we can specify width and height of that particular image for example we can specify width equal to 357 absolute uh, value or we can specify in a percentage like i want to have a height of 15 percentage this is the example for example there is an image named dolphin.jpg in the same folder of your uh, file right dolphin.jpg and second.jpg is in the same directory so we can simply write dolphin.jpg we can also specify the alignment of that particular image width height and alt so what are the alignments of that particular image as, as we know in h1 in paragraph we have seen the same attribute align but in that particular case we have three options left right and center whereas with images we have five options either we can specify left either we can specify right either we can specify top bottom and middle let's see an example of img for example if we want to put an image in our second.html i am writing a br tag just for a new line and after that i am putting my image using img tag img is a tag and src is an attribute to that img tag where we can specify the path to our image for example we have one image diet.jpg which is uh, we want to put in our second.html file so both are in the same directory class demos so i can simply write diet.jpg and i can close my img tag simply by writing a forward slash let's see the output this is our second.html and this is the image which we have put it inside our page now if i'm writing if i'm i forgot to write something or i, I mistyped my image name ready then it would be something like this in such cases if i want to display some text instead of image i can use my uh, attribute named alt for example i'm writing here
and if I refresh it, if the image is not found, it will display the text which is written inside ALT. But if it will find the image, it won't display that particular text. So ALT is used when we can, uh, the browser will not find the image, it will display that particular part. We can also specify the width. For example, I am specifying width a fixed 200 pixel. Then the image would be a smaller in size because we have specified the width which we want or we can also specify height I am removing this particular width and just specifying the height for example I am specifying height as a 10 pixel only so image would be very small if I am specifying it to be 100 image will be bigger but if we specify both height and width Let's see what will happen if I'm specifying both as 100 pixels. We have specified height and width as 100 pixel and the output would be something like this. So when we are specifying width and height both, we have to maintain the aspect ratio of that particular image. What is recommended is either you specify width or you specify height. We should not specify it both because it will change the aspect ratio of that particular image. Thank you.